wonderful people all over the world. Welcome to Powerful Couple Journey, where we show you our random day-to-day -day lives here in the US. In today's video, I am going to show you how I did my J-1 visa through a teacher exchange cultural program. And this is also a video where I'll show you a glimpse in how I get my J-1 waiver. So let's dive in and let the journey begin. My name is Emery Theretta Powell. I am now here in the United States of America, specifically here in the state of Florida. To start with, my J-1 starts with curiosity. I wanted to dream big, and I really wanted to help my family, especially my mom, who suffers First. from an illness that she really needs to be cured right away. As an eldest, I would like to really help her and, of course, fulfill my dreams to teach here in the U.S. So what I did was, I was able to connect a J-1 teacher here in the United States and she was able to let me know one of the agency that is helping aspirants like me from the Philippines to teach in the United States of America. The journey is not easy, especially that I have to make sure I pass the local interview and the international interview. So what I did was, at first, I did my research. I've learned that this agency has a good connection with our school division in the small island we have in the Philippines. So I was able to go to their Facebook account and was able to ask the process and how to do it. That local interview comprises of all the questions that are needed in order for me to prepare myself and how I was able to cope up with the different challenges and behavior management in my class. It's all about classroom management, what are the success stories I have at school, and what are the things that I can showcase in order to show a cultural exchange through a J-1 visa. Then I was told to wait for a few days to determine if I pass that interview. The owner or CEO of that agency was able to give me a phone call and I do vividly remember that I did that 12 midnight. I said to myself, this is my dream and I know I can make a sacrifice. I was given the opportunity to be interviewed for five to eight minutes and that was not easy because you really have to deal with the language that is which is English and you really have to show them even though it's through a phone call that you are confident and you can surpass all of the questions they have because it's just a preliminary there are a lot of things that has to be done as well during the journey a few days after that I received a message through my email that says Emery congratulations you were approved to connect with us in order to work with a school district here in the United States of America. Since it's an agency, I have to pay them initial payments in order to get the links. Right now, a wonderful Facebook group that offer free services and free ideas on how to teach here in the US, especially through direct hiring. So search in the Facebook group and you will see what are the support groups that has given opportunities to Filipinos like me from the Philippines to teach here in the United States of America. So let's go back to my agency. I am thankful for that agency because they were able to walk me through the process after my initial payment to them. They also gave us, they were able to give us a training or a seminar on how it looks like and prepare ourselves to teach here in the U.S. They don't just throw us with things that we are not familiar with so that's what i'm thankful for for that certain agency then a few months after the process i was given the chance to have all the links that i could apply for a specific school district we were told and we were trained to always make sure you have your resume you have your um, state license because during that time i already had submitted for my new mexico state license and arizona state license my aim is to really teach 
in Arizona and New Mexico since most of my colleagues and fellow teachers from our school's division has already been teaching in those states. I almost gave up on my dreams because most of my friends and co-teachers have already had their job offer exact for me. I never lose hope. Again, I dream I believe big. that God has something for me to offer. I started my journey way back in 2018 for all the processes. And in June 2019, I had an interview from a principal in a charter school here in Florida. At first, I'm not so much ecstatic with the idea because it's Florida, but one of my co-teachers says it's a beautiful state and it feels like the Philippines. I was encouraged to go with the process and I put all the efforts that I have. I go to different internet cafes because that's all the resources we have. We don't have the Wi-Fi yet in our house. So I did all the research. I did all classroom management details and how to cope up, how to teach in the US, what are the cultural things that I have to prepare because as a J1 teacher, you have to showcase what are the cultural things or cultural activities that we could show to the American kids and what are the international things or activities Fun activities we learn here in the US as well. That's why it's called a J1 Teacher Exchange Cultural Program. After a few interview, she told me that she really need a teacher in her charter school and that's when I got my job offer. I am offer. so happy because that's the only job offer I got and that's the only real interview I have. I know that it's God's hands that is working there. With that, I process my papers, my agency congratulate me with that and they were able to connect a visa sponsor so that i could fly right away in august of 2019 the visa sponsor which is very nice and they were able to walk me through the process with every processing there comes money so what i did was i was able to have a private lending institution at the same time have the paperwork done and pay some of that through my PLIs or loan. In the Philippines, we call it London. Loan dito, loan doon. That is my journey and how I was able to get the processing. It's not easy, but you have to dream big. You have to make sure you have the chance to showcase yourself, to believe in yourself, and to be able to show the people around you that you have the guts and you have the desire to dream big and be able to provide for your family. With this journey, I was able to fly from a small island in the Philippines to Metro Manila. That's my first domestic flight ever, and that's my first flight in an airplane. That is so wonderful for me because I've never been into an airplane before. I've been dreaming to have that. I've been dreaming to get my passport during that time, and it did happen. So my process starts in September 2018. I was able to get my passport, able to have my birth certificate, able to have all the files. And again, if you have an agency, you are guided at the same time. If you have a free Facebook group that supports teacher, that is also a great way because I've seen that they have seen symposium and they were able to walk you through the process as well after the j1 process that i have i was able to have a partner give me the chance to have my adjustment of status with that i filed for all the forms in the united states uscis and department of state and with two years of waiting, I got my J-1 waiver. It's not easy, it's gonna be difficult, but believe in yourself and believe in the Lord God Almighty that He is going to help you to dream big and you will succeed. You have to make sure you have all the files with you, prepare your papers because you're gonna have all the paperwork you have to have, I-94, all those papers when you come here in the US. So again, this is Emery Powell, if you find this video able to help you and motivate to be able to become a J1 teacher here in the US, please click the subscribe button to see more on the videos that I have to help you through the process becoming a J1 teacher 
all the way to getting a J1 waiver. Again, this is Powerful Couple Journey. Thank you so much and have a great day. God bless.